Hey there. Just returned from a stint of working up in Fort Mac. They had me on night shift, and man, did that ever suck. Uh, I'm getting too old for that stuff. But it is what it is. You got to pay the bills and uh, do what you can do. But anyway, I get back to Medicine Hat, and I want to show you why I'm bullish about the real estate market here. Let me show you something. All right, this is an article I read in uh, today's paper talking about mega solar plays await regu regulatory approval. So there are lots of uh, solar facilities going in and around Medicine Hat. As you can see, projects with an S. Uh, so the new one is estimated cost of uh, 200 million. Uh, up to 216 megawatts of electricity and this is right near Medicine Hat okay there's a lot of development in the sector right now right now in Alberta there's really a good power market there's great solar resources in southern Alberta the economics of solar are looking better better and better that's three betters it's got it's way better than two uh, last year, the news revealed Irish renewable power company DP Energy Plus Plus made a 300 megawatt proposed for land into Medicine Hat City limits potential next year, as well before the using massive prairie sunlight facility proposed for Brooks. Previously, Green Place Power made huge waves. 2020 announcing it would proceed with building its 400 million Traverse solar project in Vulcan, which is not too far away. Industry leaders told the news on Monday the pace is being driven by the nature of the Alberta energy market, government emissions reduction programs, local weather, and the decline price of construction projects. Alberta has the most promising renewable market in Canada. There are currently four solar facilities operating in Cypress County. Three more came online in 2021. Construction of two more kicking off this spring. Yeah, so this is why one reason why I am bullish about this area because I think uh, solar is going to get big here. And another reason why I'm bullish about the uh, real estate market here is the rental market is getting better and better, but uh, prices are not, like for buying houses, prices have not increased significantly, but the rental market has. So I'd like you to watch this video. and Hatton area who are looking for a place to rent have been finding it increasingly difficult. There's limited inventory available right now and prices have gone up. Tiffany Goodwin has more on what's driving this demand. Daryl Land spends a lot of time on his phone, scouring the internet looking for a single family house for rent. He's been looking for the past six months with little luck. By the time they do show up, and by the time I respond to them, a lot of them are taken already or they've been overwhelmed with calls and, and people wanting to view them that they say, sorry, we've got too many people already as it is. He has to be out of his Southridge home by the end of the month and time is ticking to find a similar sized home that is pet friendly in his budget. And he's not alone in his struggle. Local rental experts say lower mortgage rates have led to a very active and competitive rental market. We've seen a lot of single family homes that were once upon a time rentals being put on the market, selling very quickly. And it's put a lot of these long term families, long term rental families out searching for specific single family home properties that, you know, we just we just don't have them. Three to four bedroom homes are in greatest demand here in the city. But finding one for rent is a difficult task. Right now we may have two or three that would be available with us. And as soon as we bring it on the market, we'll have probably between 10 and 15, maybe even 20 applications within the first few days. The pandemic has also shifted how landlords operate. Sheila Payne owns seven rental properties here in the city. You definitely have to do the screening. 
Um, there's a lot of people that are struggling, but yeah, you have to screen them and see if they can actually afford what they say they can afford. As for those jumping into the rental market, experts say to be detail oriented in your application and to be prepared with the damage deposit ready to go so that the home you want can soon become yours. Tiffany Goodwin, Chat News. Yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, high demand for rental properties, um, but the prices of houses are still relatively low. So I think it is a great time to buy right now uh, before prices go up, and I'm pretty sure that's where they're on their way soon. So that's why I'm going to go look at a couple places tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight. That would be nice. Awesome. Catch you later.